I was uh, born in Guatemala while my dad was off in, uh, off in Vietnam. <laughs> and my mom is Guatemalan, my dad's American. Um, I went to school in Panama for a few years. Um, my dad was stationed there. He was, he was in the U.S. Air Force. And when he retired, we moved to Guatemala. So I went through middle school in English, and then I went down to Guatemala and finished high school in Spanish. Then I went to uh, a few years of university in Guatemala, and I took math and physics classes. And then I, when, once I thought I was ready, I, I applied to the University of, of Texas in Austin, and I got my aerospace engineering degree. And then after that, I started uh, coming out here. Well, I, I was hired by JPL to come work in, in, the planetary, in the planetary area. My first project was the Galileo project. And since then, I've done uh, Stardust, which was a, a spacecraft that went to a comet and gathered comet samples and brought them back to Earth. I worked on a pro project called Genesis, which was a similar thing, but it was gathering solar wind particles, and it came back to Earth and delivered those particles. And now I'm working on Juno, which is kind of a going back to my first mission, going back to Jupiter to, to try and further the knowledge of that planet. My inspiration from NASA comes from, I think, from various places. It's not really one one thing. It's a mix, really, of, of science fiction of the 70s and 80s and things like Star Wars and Battlestar Galactica and those things that were on TV or in the movies, and a mix of the real, the real things, like the map that I was talking about was in National Geographic. And so my, my parents had a subscription, and I would occasionally read on that. Um, my dad was in the Air Force, so there was always something to do with planes. And my grandfather was one of the first airline pilots that flew into Guatemala. So that side, there was always something to do with air and space. And I think the TV connection kind of made it aerospace. And, and it was just, it was just um, that combination of things that I, I just felt that space was the place for me to be and, and where I wanted to spend the rest of my career.